Take a moment right here Feeling like a sub gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Today, very wet, a um, bit of swell running, a uh, bit of wind, a bit of rain, everything this morning. But the uh, bait fish are out. I've got some very large live baits and uh, I'm hoping I can find something equally large, maybe a bit bigger today. This is a technique. I'll just go to neutral here. It's going to be windy. So sink out to get down the bottom. Using a flasher hook this time. I, I don't always use flasher hooks. Um, actually, this one's a bit tangled up. All right. So it's just a little, just a genuine, usual pilchard. Right up the middle. The idea is that it flops around, it looks pretty real, and a, and a big fish just sort of swallows it whole. So instead of, you know, getting the tiddlers, peck it away, this looks a bit more natural than the fish will just come up and swallow it whole, and then you've got him. And it's a circle hook, so you don't really have to strike much. Well, you just have to, you don't have to strike at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to get right back down on that spot where the fish were, and hover over it with the motor running, and then drop my uh, filter here on top, hopefully. Storm action around today too. Uh, I think I'm going to get wet a little bit wet later on. The wind's not forecast to get up too strong, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just I guess I'm going to get a little bit cold. There we go. Here we go. Let's drop it down. It's big. What is it? Might be a cod. Good size. I'll turn this engine off. There is a big storm coming. It's 
not a lot of fun. I'm going to get really wet. So if I catch this fish. So I was float lighting then. I was uh, just using the old float lighting technique of a pilcher just through the mouth. Really light touch, let it drop down. And um, this is a cod or a trout or something. I don't know. This feels different to a could be a nice snapper. It's got a bit of weight. There it comes. I think it's coming up now. Let's get it up before the storm. It's coming up now. meters here so reasonable amount of winding to come up here it comes it's got a bit of barrow trauma now I think it could be a good cod what is it cobia A bit like a cobia. Come over this way, Mr. Cobe, if you are a cobe. Shark. No. Some cobia, hey? bait on this side and nothing's happening.
very big. Doesn't seem to be very big at the moment. That's okay. A nice big cobia. This is my heavy gear though, so. some sort of reef fish. That's a grass emperor. Not very big. Hooked in the mouth nicely. Thirty-five. To my boss that I'm done. I don't like with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Alright so there goes another day on the water um, Not too bad, it's pretty rough out there actually It wasn't totally enjoyable on the water with a little wind a lot of swell, but very wet. That's what you get, I guess, when you go out in this sort of conditions. But um, yeah, I did okay. Uh, got a reasonable sized cobia, which is all I needed really for dinner. And I got a uh, grass emperor, which is a bit of a bonus there at the end. So um, yeah, it's all right for the day out, I guess. This could be the very last fish for some time because the COVID virus lockdowns are sort of starting to happen they're starting to you know stop people doing anything and um, you know, driving up from uh, Brisbane to Noosa has been a two hour drive I didn't stop I didn't have to stop anywhere I haven't seen anybody I haven't got anywhere near anybody today so you couldn't say that I'm flouting any laws rules or whatever but um, certainly I don't want to catch the virus and nor do I want to be a carrier and spread it around so I've been very ultra careful Anyway, look, it's a very nice day out here now. Uh, in here, there's no wind, so anyway, I hope to see you soon. Maybe I'll get a bit bored and you know do some on on land type videos, uh, a bit about my ha my how tos or whatever. But um, we'll see how we go. We'll see what happens with the next few weeks slash months. Let's hope it all is over very quickly. But anyway, thanks very much again for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It's very helpful for me. And I'll see you all soon.